Hi Dresser Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Olivia Rodrigo from her music video, Good For You. So let's get started. To draw cute Olivia, let's first start by drawing her face. So I'm going to come right here and basically start with the bottom of a U. So I come right across, not too wide, say about right here. And I'm going to go ahead and connect it at the bottom. And I'll try to make it a little bit more pointy towards the bottom. So let's come to about, say right here in the center, and then we're going to go up. There. So you're just a basic bottom of a U. From there, let's go ahead to the side right here on the edge, and we're going to draw a circle for her eyes. So same thing on the other side, about right here. Now that we have our circles in, let's make them draw so cute eyes. I'm going to come in here with two small circles for highlights and a curve line at the bottom and shade in the top. there and so same thing on this side so thank you for all the requests to draw olivia here she's so popular right now and it was hard for me to decide which dress to put her in but since the good for you um, is her latest video and she is in the disney high school musical i thought the uh, cheerleading outfit would be fitting so hopefully you love it too Okay, so we have the eyes in. Let's come back to the sides right here and spruce it up. Let's make this one a little bit wider. Sorry. Okay, so let's come about right here. And I'm going to add two simple lashes. There's two little curls, curves to the side. And thicken it up. There. And then her eyebrow. So let's come up. Mm, say about right here and I'm going to just draw a soft arc and thicken it up slightly. So same thing on the other side, about right there and soft arc right over the eye. Then let's give her a sweet smile of course. So let's come about, uh, let's say about right here. Go ahead and lightly draw a slight curve that goes upwards and cap it off. There. Okay, so now that we have that in, let's imagine an oval for her face. So let's say about right here, nice and high. I'm going to give myself a point right in the center to start. And then from there, I'm going to draw a curve that comes down because her hair is parted in the center and it's very tapered to her um, head. So let's bring this down a little bit more. If you're using a pencil, go ahead and finish this curve. But I know there's, um, she has these two clips that she's wearing. So imagine there's a curve right here. I'm going to stop right here and draw a flower. With perhaps uh, five petals. And then I'll go ahead and continue, finish off my curve finish off her face. So same exact thing over here. So let's say about, I'm just going to bring this up, let's say about right here. Just draw a simple flower for her clip and then finish off the curve. From there, let's go back to the center right here and we're going to go up, say about this much and I'm going to start to part her hair at the top. So let's come back down. I'm just going to tentatively give it a straight line down the center. And then from there, let's go up and we're going to bring it down. So let's work on this side. It's not going to be too um, far apart because her hair, like I said, is pretty straight and tapered. So I'll come down by right here. Give it a little curve 
but bring it down. So same thing over here. So a little more taper towards the face area. Give it a slight curve in and then out. Then for some details right here, let's draw, the, let's finish the clip. So I'll come about right here and just draw this curve right here to finish it off. And same thing over here. And for some details for her hair, so her hair is clipped right here. And we're going to bring a curve that comes down and out. So same thing on the other side. So about right here, the clip is holding on to a strand of hair and it's going to come down and then close to her face. There, so hopefully that makes sense. And then you can come back in here and draw some parting lines. From there, let's work on her body before we finish the rest of her hair. So I'm gonna come right here and give her a little neck, come down and then shoulders out. And same thing over here and out. Then let's come back, uh, say about right here, I'll give her two points right here for where her armpits would be, about approximately. And let's bring out a slight angle line. So now we know what we're working with. Let's come back right here and I'm going to give her neckline for her chair leading top. So two slight angles and we're gonna connect it in the center with two more angles. Then let's bring this up for a sleeve. And same thing here. And let's bring this down a little bit more for her top. Hmm, let's say about right there. I'm gonna go ahead and connect it with a curve. So let's keep coming down. Uh, let's come in a little bit. And we're gonna give her a little waist right here and her skirt. So just draw another curve. And now we can go ahead and start her skirt. So let's just kind of flare it out and flare it out on the other side. So let's keep bringing this down. Let's say about this much. I'll stop and same thing over here. So should end about the same level and now we're going to have to draw the pleats. So the easiest way I found to draw pleats is we're going to basically draw a curve that comes right back here but we're going to stop and go. So let's go with our first curve but just remember you're still drawing at a curve. Then we go up, in, out. So we're just making these little grooves as we go along. So notice I'm still going at a curve and so about right here and bring it in. Just making these little notches inside. And then from there, um, let's let's pick a point. So let's come back to the center. Let's say about, well, you know what? Let's, I forgot. Let's draw the band here first. Then let's pick a point. So kind of like where our center is, let's say about right here is where I'll start. And I'm going to use this as my point to draw two angle lines that come down to my notches right there. So I'm gonna come right across about right here and do the same thing. And so same thing about right here. And notice I'm kind of, I'm changing my angle because you're just imagining a center right here. Everything is converging to the center and one last one so about right here so hopefully this really helps you to figure out how to draw these pleated skirts and then you can even come up here and just continue the line so I'm just doing this lightly and ta-da we have a cheerleader skirt right and um, she has these patterns, so let's come about right here 
and I'm basically going to be drawing a curve all the way across. So following my bottom and then the inside as well. I'm just going to come in lower a little bit. Now that we're done with her skirt, let's work on her legs. So just having them nice and centered. So say about right here and here. I'll give myself two points and an angle. I'm going to go ahead and work on this leg first. So just your usual straight legs and it's going to get thinner as we come down towards the ankle. So it's all up to you how long you want to make your legs. So let's say about right there. I'll stop because I still need to draw in some socks. So I'm just giving a little notch. Come down and connect. And then I'm just going to go ahead and flare out these simple shoes. And connect at the bottom right there. So same thing on this side. So this side is always faster because now you have something to follow. And once again, about right here. Just get thinner as you come down towards the ankles. And about right there, go ahead and connect. Pop it out for the socks. Connect again and then once again flare it out for the shoes. There. And then for some details on these sneakers, just come right here. Two curves and then just a simple two curves right there. So curve for the sole, top, and the sides. And if you like, you can add some laces, adding two curves there. Okay, so then now the hands. So let's come down here and we're going to have this hand just straight down towards her side. So let's bring this down our shoulders and bring it down to about in this area right here. So let's say about right here, I'll stop, bring out finger and thumb and let's see here it's gonna kind of get messy but I'll come in here with a line finish off her hands it's really close to her skirt there and then she has um, these gloves really high gloves that she's wearing so about right here I'll cut it off there let's bring this out a tiny bit more and a little finger in the back as well okay so then the other ones on her hip right here so let's come about right here I know I want to bring it to this area, so let's come right here, angle and angle. And then let's flare this part out just a little bit and continue. About right there, bring it in and angle it out and then add a little finger right there. And once again, you can add a little crease here since they are gloves and about right here, I'll cut it off. Okay, so hopefully that looks like <laughs> pop this out a tiny bit. And then she has this pattern on her cheerleader um, cheerleading top. So let's come about right here in the center. And I'll just give myself two points right in the center. From there, I'm going to come about, say here, and draw an angle line. Come right across, so right there. Do the same thing, and then just go ahead and thicken it up. And now her hair almost forgot that I was done. Okay, so then let's just kind of bring it out a little bit and nice and simple. Just give it maybe one or two zigzags and bring it in. So it's just nice and straight. 
So shiny thing over here. Bring it down, the zigzag, and in. And last but not least, let's give Olivia here a heart right in the center of her outfit. So now she's my draw so cute Olivia. <laughs> So they're all done. I really hope you love my version of Olivia here from her Good For You music video and that I made it fun and easy for you to follow along with me. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Jurassic Cute videos. See you later.